Hey YouTube, it's Dwayne here. So today we are doing another Bible review. I haven't done any in a little while and I've got a couple Bibles to look at. So today we're going to take a look at the Mini McLaren. That's right. This is from the uh, Thomas Nelson's McLaren series and this is the shrink down version of it. And we're going to take a look at that right now. All right, when you order your NKGV McLaren, it's going to come in this handy little clamshell box. There is the type of Bible it is on the front there, and taking a look at the back, you get some specific details about that. I'll hold that here, and you can pause that as usual and read those if you like. We typically don't buy Bibles for the box. I remind you every episode, so get out of here. Whoa. So here we have it, the tiny little McLaren, just the outside. This is the uh, Black Leather Soft Edition, and uh, Thomas Nelson has been really killing it on these faux leather covers. Uh, I got a couple others here, and these are just soft and a lot more pliable than you'd really expect. On the spine, we've got a couple raised hubs, and of course, gold stamping with Holy Bible written on there, and of course, NKJV, because that's the kind of Bible we're looking at today. I like my TR Bibles. So nothing too fancy on the back. And that's kind of like a, a quick preview of what's on the outside. This is a really tiny Bible. For your checking pleasure, I got a Pit Minion here. And we can just do a really quick comparison with the Pit Minion. And you will see that its footprint is actually just a bit tinier uh, than the Pit Minion on the bottom there. Look at that. I would say about a half inch on uh, either side, and you can see that there. So this is a small Bible. This is a portable, compact Bible that you're going to take with you places. Now, it is a bit thicker uh, than the Pit Minion, you can see there. So that's the outside of the Bible. So let's go ahead and measure it. We have my trusty weigh scale here. So you can see my camera set up right there in the reflection. Here, let's pop this on. We are at low battery. I just changed it. 471 grams, so that's not too bad at all. Let's take a quick tour and see what's on the inside of this Bible. So the McLaren, uh, for those who don't know, the McLaren Bible is actually a replacement for the Preaching Bible. Um, so the Preaching Bible doesn't really come with a whole lot of front and back matter here. Uh, we have our copyright page, table of contents, our book abbreviations, uh, some more abbreviations, our preface to the New King James Version, and it looks like they have actually put the whole preface in there. And I'm actually really happy to see that. Usually they abbreviate that and put that in the front. And then right after the introduction, bam, right into the text. So taking a look at the text, you'll notice that chapter headings are in blue. Paragraph headings are also in blue. And you're looking at about a seven-point font. Now, there are no references in this Bible. And if you take a look at the very bottom, you'll see that it has the textual notes that the New King James Version is uh, kind of known for. Now, if we flip over to the book of Job or Psalms, wherever, you'll see that it has poetic setting. Flipping over a little bit more, we make our way to the New Testament. And I like to flip over to somewhere around cha Matthew chapter 6, and you can see the Sermon on the Mount. That is in uh, black letters. Uh, so this is a black letter text. Words of Christ are not in red. As you probably also noticed, is aside from having poetic setting for poetry sections, this is a paragraph Bible, unlike its King James Version cousin which is verse by verse. So that takes us through most of what's in this Bible. And if we flip right over to the end, usually there are some sort of maps or something after the book of Revelation. However, in this one, it is just simply lined pages for you to make your notes or whatnot. And we go right to the end of the text. Now, because this is a leather soft Bible, this is a paste down liner. And you can see that both front and back. And the last thing uh, to touch on is uh, Thomas Nelson with their ribbons. Okay, they tend to do really well with the double-sided satin ribbons, and it's no different here. So we've got uh, the blue ribbons uh, and a, a single black ribbon. So these are these are great little portable Bibles. Uh, they they look like they're constructed very well. They've they've got a little bit of gilding on it, nice ribbons. You know the paper is nice. It's not bad for a, a little Bible. And they are currently being listed at forty nine ninety nine according to the back of the box. But if you go online, you're probably going to find it realistically for somewhere around forty. 
uh, $45. So if you are interested in that, I have provided a link below. Please note that this was a Bible that was provided to me by Thomas Nelson for review and uh, for the sake of providing a fair and honest review, I get to keep this one. Anyway, brothers and sisters, I hope you found this review helpful. Until next time, we'll see you around. Thank you.